The San Francisco Black Film Festival is underway. Opening night was fantastic, but this weekend you will get a chance to watch three films directed by Mario Van Peebles, followed by a live Q&A. But guess what? We have our own live Q&A right now. Joining us in studio is Mario Van Peebles. We're so excited to have you here. Yeah, it's good to be here. This is the hometown. I know. Talk about yeah. that. I don't think a lot of people know. San Francisco, the roots run deep for you. And, and it, it, the thing is, San Francisco's always been, you know, from what I remember, so diverse. So mm -hmm. that was such a plus as an artist because I felt freed up to paint with all the colors, you know, yes. in, in my family, we have all the colors. So I have to love with big arms. I got <laughs> black dad, white mom, gay aunt, Trumper aunt. I got you know, <laughs> it. All. I got it. So <laughs> what, what helps is you, you have, you see our commonalities. Yes. And I think with cinema, you know, if you can en entertain, but make entertainment that is made with love for everybody, then build it and they will come. That's my hope. And especially right now in such a divided yes. space that we're in to, to make movies that make us think, but bring us together is uh, is important, right? Yes, Isn't it? It definitely yeah. is. So back in the day, a little history of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. My father was a cable car gripman. Love it. And uh, he wrote a book about it. And I, the supervisor, I guess, was sort of a hater. He said I, he didn't think black folks should read, let alone write a book. So he fired my dad because he said, "You look like the kind of guy that might have an accident." Best happened thing that happened ever. Because my dad took me to movies. Mm -hmm. I was about two years old. I'd sit on his lap. And we'd watch movies, and my dad said, didn't like the way people of color were played in movies. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, heck, I'm going to make movies. And so he bought 92 minutes of film, mm. but no one ever told him about editing. So by the first time he made his first movie, <laughs> it was only 12 minutes long. Oh. But he made a couple more, and then eventually got to make his films. He made Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song in 1971. It was the top-grossing independent hit. And then 20 years later, his knucklehead son <laughs> made New Jack City. Yes. In, in 1991. And from that point on, the Van Peebles family has been in the business of edutainment. Yes, we love yeah. that San Francisco is such a big part of that because I think what you and your dad have done is just re really so critical when it comes mm. to black film. And you're continuing to do that. So let's talk about the films that we're going to see at the festival. Okay, so this is the San Francisco Black Film Festival. Yes. Uh, tomorrow, well, let's see. Sa oh, this is a perfect... Uh, Father's Day flick, yes. Outlaw Posse, because when I did my first Western Posse, I had my dad, but I didn't have kids. Mm. Now, with Outlaw Posse, I didn't have my dad with me, but I had my kids. So my son, Mandela Van Peebles, who plays my on-screen son in the movie, is oh. in it. And he, he came to me, he said, Dad, with this movie, with this Western, we don't have to fake the love. It's real. Oh, we like don't have it. to fake the drama. We just have to reshape it. Mm. And, and a lot of folks don't know, not only were there a lot of folks of color, the Chinese built the railroad, there were, one out of three cowboys were black, but there were some powerful women. Mm. And so there was a sister named Stagecoach Mary who had her own stagecoach. And she said, if they can make money from me, I can make money from me. And that's played by Whoopi Goldberg and Outlaw yes. Posse. So that is at the, the film festival uh, at 3 o'clock mm -hmm. Saturday. Yes. And then we do a Q&A afterwards. So they can come. They can ask questions. You can ask Uncle Mario whatever you want to know. <laughs> If I know it, I, I'll tell you, and if I don't, I'll lie. Uh, and, and so that's at 3 o'clock, and then 5 o'clock, we're showing Panther mm -hmm. on the rise of the Black Panthers uh, Party for Self-Defense out of Oakland. This is a film my father wrote, and I directed, and we both produced. And I realized the other day that he gave me my first lines ever in a movie, and I gave him his last lines ever in a movie. So for Father's Gosh. Day, come on out Saturday, and then Sunday, at the uh, San Francisco uh, Library, we're showing Armed. Hmm. And that's the one about, w they say nothing stops a bad guy with a gun. Like a good guy with a gun? I play a good guy with way too many guns. Uh -oh. And he's on the no-fly list. Uh -oh. So what could go wrong? Right. So Armed on Sunday, Outlaw Posse, and Panther on Saturday. This is what I think I admire so much about you. You are playing this incredible character. You're also directing. Right. How do you approach doing both? Loving my job. Knowing how lucky I am, I work real job. <laughs> <laughs> and by you know, I, I, so I think part of it is I would say three loves in your life: love what you do, mm. love and enjoy the folks you get to do it with, and love what you say with your work. And if those three chakras line up, then you're rich no matter what the paycheck is. We love that. You know, I really just think you being here, being a part of the San Francisco Black Film Festival, is just so important for not only our community here in the. Bay Area, but beyond. Talk to me about why film festivals like, like this one, 
why they're so important. Well, and that's one of the things about this festival has been going on for, for years and the granddaughter who is running it now, and she's super capable, Cree. Cree, I did give you a shout out, sis. Okay, <laughs> but, and I love seeing family that really can make it happen. So I think one of the things that, that I always thought is that the modern day colonizer doesn't put chains on your body, the chains are on your mind. And that's not just for black folks, that's for everyone. The restriction really is in your mind. And the first step to freeing your mind is controlling your own imagery, mm -hmm. the image of what you think you can be. Because if we can see it, we want to be it. Yes. We want to be the success we see. So you have a chance to lead through cinematic example, right? And we, the Panthers used to say, power to the people. Well, if knowledge is power and you can bring it through cinema, then bring some power to the people, bring some love to the people, and entertain them. Yes. Make it exciting. I'm still, so when you see my Western, it's still a shoot 'em up. I'm still a kid at heart, you know what I mean? <laughs> I still want a good shoot 'em up, but inside of that, a little nutritional value is a good thing. We love it, and we can't wait to see it. Thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, so. Now I'm a hugger, let me get, get this hug. Let me get my hug, <laughs> I'm so happy, yes. All right. Let's tell people about it. So if you wanna get all the details about both the days of screening and the Q&A, go to sfbff.org. Anything else last minute you want people to know? Come out for Father's Day. Come out for Father's Come Day. Come on out. Ask me some questions. Let's do it. Yes. We'll As my daddy would say, early to bed, early to rise, work like hell and advertise. Right. I can say that. <laughs> well, yeah. you on it. I'm on it. You're doing yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. All righty. <laughs> we'll be right back.